Cutting dovetails without the assistance of machines or magnetic guides is not easy. Some of the professionals cutting super fast dovetails on YouTube are very entertaining, but they're probably not that helpful to the amateur dovetailer. So I'd like to show you a few tips and techniques that I've picked up over the years to help you with hand cutting your dovetails. So the most important part about cutting dovetails is that the, the, the tails need to be absolutely dead square. So if I was to put this in the vise, and was to line that up, I could have a pretty good go at what's square. There's a technique of, of looking at the reflection in the blade and getting that so that it all lines up, but it's not easy and it's something this thickness to get good square tails. So gang cutting, where you take the other end of the board, improves things. It gives you a larger area and therefore gives you an improved chance of getting things square. But I'd like to recommend something, you try something that's one stage further. Take something which is even thicker still, but nice and soft, like this MDF. So you put that in the vise, take your marker, and just mark off the square lines. So just go all the way along. And there we go. So with those lines marked up, then cutting square or cutting to that line is a lot, lot easier. So I would suggest that keep things horizontal in the vise because they're horizontal or vertical. Vertical is the easiest way to cut. And so just by using pinch your thumb against the blade and start at the back corner. and then make a notch. Same here. So I'm not attempting to follow the dovetail angle at this stage. Again, just controlling it with the thumbnail. And the last one. So you can see there that the cuts are all to the line. They're all dead square. And you can remove this backing board. Now then what you've got are little notches, which are dead square along the, along the uh, end grain. And what I'd like to do here is I always find it easier to saw vertically than to actually saw at different angles. So if you take your dovetail marker and just angle that in the guide, in the vise, then without the need to use the marker to mark up the cuts, all you need to do now is to view your baseline and cut down vertically. So we've got, we're square because we've got our little notches at the top and we've got a baseline and all we need to do is just simply go down. Something I was taught at the Barnsley workshops is that if you turn the, the work round and again you set up your angles, then it keeps everything on that right hand side and comfortable. And again, we're just going dead vertical. So we've got our square notch into the notch.
And there we go. So by taking a little bit of extra time, just a little bit of extra time, we've guaranteed that we've got nice, straight, at the same angle, and most importantly of all, dead square tails cut. So with the tails cleaned out, um, it's now time for us to mark the pins. Using the very useful dovetail alignment board, which keeps one the leading edge um, flush, and keeps everything nice and square so that your box or your drawer doesn't wobble, we can mark out the pins. So a nice strong line at the intersection of the two boards. And that's the alignment board done its job. So with the pins, using vertical again, just going to line that up. So that's dead vertical. And then again, using a thumbnail, just edge that up and use that as a little fence. And what we're gonna do here is just to cut just to the side of the line. So if you start at the back and just start it nibbling, and when you're using these um, uh, English style saws, they can be a little bit difficult to get started. So if when you start the cut, you use no pressure at all, very light grip, and just allow the weight of the saw to start it. It'll start a lot easier than trying to grunt. And, uh, and starting easier is, is really useful to cut right next to that line. So once you're there, then just saw vertically down. Again, up to the line. Now when it comes to cut to sawing against the other part, it's not so easy because we're, you, your thumb is actually in the way of the line. So what I suggest you do is, as we did with the tailboard, is to turn this in the vise. And because you've then got the face side not showing, then I just like to, again as we did with the tails, is this just to start the cut, but don't finish it. And again, just light pressure, just start the cut. Go to each one. And then turn it back so that the face side, which I've got marked with the dots, is showing. And this way round, now you've got your notch, you can concentrate on vertical on the side that shows. Down you go, letting the saw do the work. So there we go. There's all the tails cut, down to the line, in exactly the right place, and all dead vertical. So now it's time to clean out the waste. So with the pins and the tails both cut, I would just like to recap. So we've got absolutely dead square tails, which were cut with length, so that we got them dead square. They were also cut vertically, and then we employed the same techniques to do the um, pin board as well. So although those take a little extra time, then if you follow those and saw with care, then it will drastically reduce the amount of time overall you spend with your dovetails with um, bits of sawdust and, and uh, glue and pairing and things like that. You'd be able to achieve a perfect fit straight from the saw. So let's see how we did.
Oh, there we go. No machines, no dovetail guides, no pairing, no filling. Perfect dovetails straight from the saw.